name is Hal Pittman. Uh, I am a retired Navy officer from Arizona, and it's my pleasure to be here today with you to help introduce you to Herozona and Heropreneur and introduce Heropreneur and Herozona to you. There you go. Heropreneur and Herozona are efforts that recognize the value of service to our country and the value of those who have worn the uniform of our great nation. It's strategically held during the week of Veterans Day to ensure we have Arizona and America's attention on veterans. This year's Herapreneur National Veterans Business Summit follows the 100th anniversary of the armistice, and the summit's already off to an amazing start. It's bigger and better, first of all, than it was last year. It's value-packed for our veteran entrepreneurs who will be attendance, in attendance and also our job seekers. Once again, good afternoon. As Hal stated, I'm the Director of Veteran Services for the Maricopa Community Colleges District. It is a great honor to be a platinum sponsor at today's event. Maricopa Community Colleges is one of the largest college system in the country, serving over 200,000 students annually, which include 10,000 veterans. To put that into perspective, some colleges boast a large population but only have 10,000 students and maybe 400 veterans. Why is that important, you might ask? Well, just like the great state of Arizona, which has over 600,000 veterans, we at Maricopa must be prepared to adequately serve this large veteran population. ASU right now is the home to over 8,400 military-affiliated students. That's spouses, dependents who are using transfer GI Bill benefits, um, as well as about 1,500 folks who are still actively serving, active duty, reserve, or guard, and the rest of that population is made up of veterans, those who served and have now left the service. Uh, that community also ranges in age from 17 to three current students at ASU who are in their 70s. We have 57 veterans who are currently at ASU pursuing PhDs. So it gives you uh, an example there of the range and diversity of students uh, who have successfully served in world-class organizations. But uh, it's also great to see uh, the community here in Arizona uh, and in Phoenix in particular come together, the business community, to support something that we're very passionate about. So hats off to AP and Aaron for the great work you're do doing as part of Arizona and Heropreneur. Uh, work here at the community level is absolutely critical because there's no doubt that service members and their families come back to communities and creating that network and all that connective tissue that you're doing here is, is truly God's work, so congratulations. Um, let me start with uh, uh, some additional thanks, if I may. AP and Aaron, your service and your focus on veterans is unflagging. Thank you very much. Uh, we couldn't do this without you, and, and AP, honestly, your creativity, your interest, your desire um, really sets a standard. So God bless both you guys. Thank you for doing this. Heropreneur and, and Herozona are just incredible programs, and it's all about not just giving back, but it really is about creating a path for all these incredible men and women who have served and served with their eyes wide open during a time of conflict. They raised a hand, they went to war. I mean, you talk about the greatest generation. We're in the midst of the greatest generation. My father was a part of the original greatest generation. His father fought in the great war, the war to end all wars. I come from a line of military dudes. It was a family business. I'm in the midst of heroes when you look at who is raising a hand to join and to try to solve today's problems. So it's quite phenomenal. So again, AP, thank you for reaching out and really making a difference. First of all, I want to hand out the, or at least recognize the Entrepreneurship Award, and that goes to Ed Robeson. Sir, Robeson Resort Communities, U.S. Marine, and I might add, an All-American and all-American and played on the U.S. hockey team. This is a phenomenal gentleman right here. Ed. Thank you. It's wonderful to be a part of this. It's an honor to get an award like this. 
I'm sure there's many, many people that they could have considered for this. And I'm just uh, very happy that uh, I'm part of it. And uh, thank you, Alan Powell, AP, for all you do. Thank you. The next award is the Employment Award. And this is going to Barbara Y from Intel. Intel Corporation has a magnificent veteran employment um, program, and I want, would love to recognize Intel. Barbara? You How's everybody doing today? Good. Let's give it up for the Intel team. This is certainly their award. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Heropreneur for recognizing us in this meaningful way. Uh, AP and Aaron, uh, thank you for living into your purpose and the aspiration and inspiration that you give us each and every day and looking out for the lives of the veterans. Uh, I think Martin Luther King said it well, that we start living the day that we become silent on things that don't matter. So give it up for AP and Aaron uh, and their efforts. The Education Award is given to ASU. Isn't ASU a wonderful institution? It really is. I mean, it really is. Colin Jennings Rogensack. Dr. Crow would like to thank the Hero Zona Foundation for including ASU in this conference. The goals of the conference align with ASU's major aims. One, to instill the spirit of entrepreneurialism to all of our students, and two, to support the educational and career development of our veterans. You've heard from my colleague, Steve Borden, about the wonderful things that we are doing through the Pat Tillman Center. In addition, we have a Veterans Upward Bound program program. For 44 consecutive years, we have had veterans upward bound. There are two other awards that, were, that I've been asked to pass out. The Mission Continues Award and the Maverick Award. First of all, the Mission Continues Award is given to Ted Vactor from the Tuskegee Airmen. Sir, are you here? You here? Think about the Tuskegee Airmen, sir. Think, of, think about their mission for a second. The nation didn't ask them, they volunteered. In many ways, the Tuskegee Airmen were heropreneurs like you. They wanted to sell their product, and that product was freedom and equality. In their era, the Tuskegee Airmen reflected the struggles of black airmen trying to achieve equal rights in the U.S. To sell their product, they had to overcome social injustices, discrimination, segregation, and society's inequities. Yet all the Tuskegee Airmen wanted was to fight for the love of the country and gain equality. Fight they did. Among a thousand aviators that were produced, as America's first black American pilots, there were 10,000 men and women that served in a variety of support roles in the military. Ultimately, the Tuskegee Airmen flew 1,578 combat missions, 179 bomber escort missions. They damaged 370 enemy aircraft, destroyed 950 ground rail and car vehicles, and over the waterways, this is for you Navy guys, they shattered over 40 boats and barges while demolishing the Italian Navy destroyer Giuseppe, Missouri, causing it to be scuttled. In the memory of the Tuskegee Airmen, our and future generations will always act to honor, preserve, and perpetuate their legacy. Additionally, we will continue to support our youth through community outreach and specific youth programs. We are earnestly grateful to the Hero Zona Foundation and board of directors along with all of the affiliated sponsors for their recognition of our continued support to the Tuskegee Airmen and our youth. So in closing, and on behalf of all members of the ARAC community, we respectfully accept the Hero Zona Foundation Mission Continue Award. Again, thank you so much for this honorable award.
And, and the final award is the Maverick Award. My friends, the greatest honor of my life was to serve in the company of heroes. Our civilian population was deeply engaged in supporting our active duty personnel and veterans, striving to connect transitioning service members and veterans to workforce opportunities. We are inspired by your example and indebted to the immeasurable contributions you have made. The Maverick Award goes to APS, Don Brandt. Don, can you please join us? Thank you, General, and thanks to my many friends and APS team members who are here this afternoon, and especially the members of the APS Veteran Support Organization. And thank you, AP, for this event and all you do to give veterans a hand up. This Maverick Award is particularly meaningful to me. I think many of you know I was fortunate enough to have formed a special friendship with Senator McCain over the last dozen years. The award is also a special honor for APS. As a company, we place great importance on hiring veterans. More than 20% of the 6,300 men and women of APS are veterans. They make our company stronger for bringing to the workplace all the things they learn in the military. Honor, courage, commitment, teamwork, loyalty, and leadership. And I've been an entrepreneur since the day I was born. Without further ado, here he is, the people shark, Damon Carroll. All right, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you. What's up, AP? Thanks for having me, man. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the last part of this luncheon. We have the fortune of having Damon John. And Again, all real entrepreneurs, they act, they learn, and then they repeat. They start extremely small, and then they fail fast. I don't go to Vegas if I don't know blackjack and play $1,000 a hand. I go to Vegas and play $1,001 hands until I start to understand how to play blackjack. All right. So a lot of people are uh, obviously know you from Shark Tank or have got to know you on Shark Tank. Yeah. How did Shark Tank find you, and what was the process for you to join the show? Now, I really don't know how they found me. I, I believe that I was doing shows such as Donnie Deutsch and The Big Idea and CNBC early in the morning, and I think Mark Burnett was watching at that time. And they called me up and they said, we got a show, and I said, they said, it's called Dragons Then. It was already number one in uh, London and Japan and Canada. We're gonna call it Shark Tank. We want you in the show. I said, absolutely. Contract comes over, says you're. Let me, let me close out, folks. Um, I, w I was trained early on that a soldier's first duty is to remember. So today we remember you, all you veterans, your family members, all that you've done. And we want to tell you thank you very, very much. You make a difference every day by your example. So God bless you guys. Thank you.